Hello all, uh, this is Dr. P. Jainthi, Assistant Professor, Department of Education Planning and Administration, Tamil Nadu Teachers Education University, Chennai. In this presentation, we are going to see the various tools that enhances the teaching learning process. Uh, let us get into this presentation. Objectives. After this presentation, you will be able to be familiar with the different types of online tools to acquire knowledge of video conference tools, to create, format and share assessments through online, to apply Google applications for education purpose and also to understand the different types of mobile apps. There are uh, different types of online tools. They are Hot Potatoes, Mindamo, Edmodo and Tesmos. Now we will see about the Hot Potatoes. It is a set of program that allows the production of uh, interactive web based teaching exercise. It consists of six individual programs such as JClues, JQuiz, JCron, JMatch, JMix, and the Masher. Hot Potatoes. There are six different exercises. Uh, that is, in JQuiz, uh, we can create multiple choice questions, and in JClues, gap, gap fill exercises, in JMatch, matching exercise, and in JMix, uh, jumble word in sentences and jumble letters in words, and in JCross, crossword exercises. And in Masher, we can combine all the above activities into a single file. JQuiz. JQuiz, uh, here we have to give the title and we have to write the uh, questions in the question form. And in the answer, we have to give the correct answer. Uh, that is all the probable answers we have to enter here. This is JClose. JCLOS is a test in which the words have been removed from a sentence and the students have to write the correct words in the empty spaces. It is what we say as fill in the blanks. JMatch. In JMatch, there will be two lists. Uh, that is, left side we have to give the ordered items and in right side we have to give the jumbled items. JCross. A crossword puzzle is a game in which you have to write the answers to the questions in a pattern of numbered boxes. JMix. In JMix, title should be given here, a main sentence should be given in the left in the jumbled form and all the probable alternate sentences in the right side. The Masher. The Masher is a program that compiles all the individual exercises into a whole unit in a sequential order. Now we will see about uh, the tool Mindamo. A Mindamo is a mind mapping app where we can create mind map in an easiest way with the available templates. Next moving to Tesmos. Tesmos is an excellent web tool that allows you to create auto graded tests and quizzes. It also supports different question types that includes fill in the blanks, matching, true or false and short answers. One more uh, tool is Edmodo. Edmodo is a free learning management platform that merges the classroom content. Here students and parents can get quick answers to the questions as well as they can stay touch on the class assignments. Video conference tools. Nowadays we are uh, very familiar with the video conference tools such as Zoom, Google Meet, Cisco Webex like that. So Zoom is a cloud based video conferencing platform that can be used for video conference meetings audio conferencing, webinars, meeting recordings, and live chat. In Google Meet, it is also one of uh, the video conferencing tool. The special thing is you don't need to install any software. Everyone will be in the call which will be connected by the web browser. Cisco WebEx, the full form of Cisco is Computer Information System Company where we can conduct meeting with anyone and anywhere just by inviting them through the link. Google for Education, uh, that is like a Google Classroom, Google Forms, Jamboard, Google Slide, and Google Drive. Google Classroom is a free learning platform which aims to simplify creating, distributing, and grading assignments and to share the files. G forms are used to create online forms and surveys with multiple question type. Jamboard is an interactive uh, digital whiteboard that helps in online collaborative activities by Google Workspace. Next, coming to Google Slides. These are used to create presentations together, share, collaborate, and prepare quickly with the pre-made templates. 
The Google Drive also allows the user to store files in cloud and also to share files. There are various mobile apps to facilitate learning. Uh, some of the mobile apps are uh, Class Dojo, Edmodo, Google Classroom for managing the classrooms and for uh, communication, Remind and WhatsApp, for collaboration, Dropbox and Padlet, for creativity, Evernote and MindMaster, for uh, teachers, uh, professional growth, uh, edX, Coursera, Udacity, and for assessment, Kahoot, Socrative, Zoho Forms, and Nearcode. To conclude, the digital pedagogy has many benefits when compared to the conventional learning in the classroom environment. It is not just a change of technology, but it is a part of a redefinition of how we transmit knowledge, skills, values to the younger generation. Uh, dear students, hope you have enjoyed the presentation and gained knowledge on various tools. For more information and demonstration, we have given the YouTube link in the reference. Make use of it. Have a great day. Thank you.